In this video, we're going to investigate how to onboard the Things Indoor Gateway to Things Stack. So, the first thing you need to do with this gateway is register it on your Wi Fi network. This is the backhaul of the device, so, this is the connection that we're going to have to our LoRaWAN network server, which is the Things Stack in the cloud. The device itself is an indoor gateway. I'm, I'm not sure on the range. I, I haven't tested it in anger yet, but for working in the office environment, it's fine. There's two versions that you can purchase. You can purchase the European band, the 868, or the 900 US band. It's got eight channels for uh, receiving data and one channel for transmitting data and that it conforms to the latest LoRa Alliance standards. The first thing you need to do when you get this unit, so I always, always advise this if, if you haven't had it pre-configured, which I don't think is an option, is to reset it. So you can see there at the bottom, there's a reset button. You hold that for five seconds. Then the LED on the top of the box will start flashing green because at that stage, it can't find a Wi-Fi network. The next step is to put the gateway into setup mode. And on the top of the unit, you'll see a setup button. You press and hold that for 10 seconds, and after 10 seconds, it will enter setup mode, and you'll get an orange or red flashing light. And what that means is it's now discoverable on your Wi-Fi. So what you can do is have a look on the, the label on the back and you will see your Wi-Fi password. That's important. You're going to need that for now for registering it and opening up the um, device. But also you'll need that Wi-Fi password later on when you come to register it on the Think Stack. The orange light does time out after a while. So just be careful that you're still in setup mode, but you should see the mini hub on your Wi-Fi list. So connect to that using the password that's on the back label, and then you'll be presented with um, the option to, to log on uh, with uh, Google Chrome. So go into Google Chrome, type in the default IP address, which is 192.168.4.1 and you'll go straight into the setup screen. And what it will show you is a list of uh, available Wi-Fi. So select your Wi-Fi, put in your credentials, and before you click on save and reboot, which is right at the bottom, make a note of the information at the bottom, because at the bottom you will see your device EUI code, which you are going to need to register the device on ThingStack. Once you've rebooted, what should happen is the lights will change. You won't have the green flashing light now. You'll have like a sequence of flashing lights, as you can see on the screen now, because it's looking for a LoRaWAN network server and it can't find one. So it's connected to your Wi-Fi. It hasn't got to the next step. So that's what we're going to look at is how we register now, now we've got a Wi-Fi connection, how we register this gateway on ThingStack. So this is my ThingStack cloud account. This is the free account I've registered for, so I believe it's 10 gateways and 10 devices or endpoints that you can put on here, which is more than enough for what we're trying to achieve. If you need more than that, then you need to go to a SaaS contract. First thing we need to do is, is register the gateway. This is completely empty of any devices, any gateway. I've deleted them all from the previous steps. And if we click on register the gateway, the first thing it's asking for is my gateway EUI code. I, I called it device by mistake, but you, you'll see on the text on the screen that it is the gateway EUI. So we can put that in. And then confirm the frequency plan uh, for me I'm in Europe and you can see it's recommending the, the frequency plan 
I'm going to keep the gateway ID. So this is going to be showing you my EUI code whenever it connects to say Azure or anything, but you can change it um, to, to text. So if you want to hide that in this instance, we'll, we'll call it my postcode. Yeah. And then the claim Obvious mistake. See here, must be lowercase. So let's let's just put that in. Okay, hopefully that's okay. The claim authentication code in here. We need to now put the Wi-Fi password that's printed on the back of your device. I don't think you can change it. I haven't seen anything in the setup that allows you to change it. So put that into here, and then you can claim your gateway. To finish off the settings, there's some things you can do. You can add a location. So I will put in this football field here. Okay. And save my changes. Once your gateway is connected, you'll have a solid green light on the top of the gateway as shown and via your ThingStack dashboard you will see that it's um, connected we're not really getting any traffic because we haven't got any sensors connected to this via the application server so we'll cover that on another video but for now that shows you how to register the the things industry indoor gateway onto ThingStack. As per usual, please share this channel with your friends and colleagues and hope to see you again soon. Thanks for listening.